Hello everyone, welcome back. And in this tutorial, I will show you how to model that rope and the texture and the hairs. So let's get started. So I have this spline, which wants to say rope, kind of. I will create a new circle, make it smaller, press Alt and select sweep object. After that, put that rope under circle. And we get this, but we want that rope look. To do that, I will put that circle out of that sweep object. Press Alt, select cloner object. Don't change mode. I will just change my count to 2. Change my size. So they are going to intersect. I think this is enough. The reason that I put a cloner because the center axis will be right in between them. So let's put a connect object so that the cloner will act along spline. And I'm gonna put that connect under my sweep object. Now I will go to sweep object, go to rotation, and I'm gonna put these splines like that so they are gonna kind of loop but the most important thing is here I will change my rotation from 0 to a lot like I mean a lot let's make it 10,000 or 20,000 but that scale is relative to your objects scale because that line is too big in my scene you can see so that rotation will be different based on your object size also i want to make these splines type to linear now i'm gonna go back to rob spline i don't think we need to change anything in here i will go back to circle I will decrease my number so I will get lower resolution. I think one is good. And now let's select circle one more time. I'm gonna scale it a little bit. Go back to cloner. I will decrease the size. Then I can play with the cloner's Y size. So I will get a more rounder shape. Also, let's enable a emit occlusion. Let's add more details. I will select CP object, go to simulation, hair object. Objects and add hair. First thing, I'm gonna go to generate tab, change my tab to spline because I will use any other sweep object. Also, let's go to guide. I will change my count to 100. Also, let's go to hairs. I will set my count to 250. Now let's create another circle. Scale it. Then I'm going to press Alt, select Sweep, put the hair under the circle. Let's enable lines so we can see how many polygons we have. So it is too much for these hairs. So I'm going to go to select circle and set my number to 1. Also, let's go back to hair. In the hair tab, I will set my segments to 4. Also, let's go to sweep, change in scale. I will go back to circle and scale it a little bit. 
Let's change our layout standard because I will use that hair material to add more randomness. First, let's add bands. Let's make it 50%. To see in the viewport, I need to refresh the hair. Or you can increase or decrease the segments. What else can we add? Let's add twist. One more time, change your segments. I will add wave. Also, let's enable scale. Length. Well, I want to scale that circle more. All right, we can change the account. Let's make it 350. We can change the size of the hairs to do that. Go to guides. Let's make it 200. Uh, I think that's too much. Let's make it 150. Also, I will change the distribution of the splines or hairs. So, go to roots. I'm going to make it 41. I think this is going to be enough for now. Let's try to add more details. I'm going to create a new material. Go to color, texture, gradient. I'm going to change my type to diagonal. Move that white to the middle. Create another one and I'm going to make it black. So these are kind of make the texture seamless. Then I will double knots a few times. So let's put that material on the rope or that sweep object. All right, that's good. I will use that for the bump. I will copy that shader, then I'm going to set my strength to zero, so I won't see in the color, and I will bump and paste the shader. Let's increase the strength, or we can go to viewport, change our review size to 2K, but I don't think that didn't make any change. Anyway, let's go to bump and increase the strength. Actually, I will double the nuts one more time. Yeah, I think this is a lot better. Now let's add some lights to the scene. And I will add a PBR light. I will scale that. Also, let's increase the intensity. One more copy. This time it's going to go for the top. Let's not forget to enable the shadows. Let's create a quick material for the hairs. I think this is it, guys. I hope you liked the video. And I hope you learned something new in this one. And I see you in the next stories. Bye.